honestly, I'm just a simple guy. I just want to soak. I want to smoke bud. I want to party. I want to bang my chick. And I want to have a good time. The year was 1997. The clothes were cool. The people were cool. And the shoes were hot. Soap shoes, that is. You see, a soap shoe is a regular shoe with a hard plastic grind plate on the bottom, perfect for sliding down rails. And people slid, slid on anything possible. S O A P Soap People who devoted their lives to soap were called soapers. This is the story of the last original soaper. Holy crap, dude! You're going fast as hell! This is dope. We're just over here uh, sound checking. Look at these guys. We brought some toys. Uh oh. My name is Ryan Johnsmus. I'm a pro soaper. Yeah, I grew up in El Segundo when I was about it was I was about 16, and this was in um, 10th grade, 1996. I was walking home from school after uh, right after football practice. And uh, I see this, this guy, he's dressed in all black. He's wearing these roller blades. This guy's like cruising down all fast and he jumps up on this picnic table, and does a 360 off the end. And I just kind of stopped in my tracks. I was like, like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've got I've to get, fuck football, I've got to get skates. Because I was like, man, I can see it now. I'm gonna be rolling to school wearing all black with these Oakley shades. I'm gonna be doing 360s and shit. Like, I'm gonna be getting all these girls. They're gonna be like, wanting to take me to the prom. Like, this is some pimp shit right here. The moment I saw those soaps, I was like, dude, that's it. Like, I, I have to have these shoes. Cause I just started soaping every day. I started calling in sick to school and I would just go out just soaping, just grinding. They signed me onto soap, and I had to sign all these forms. And basically, they're like, okay, you have access, you can have as many pairs of shoes as you want. Right away, uh, the two of us just started butting heads. I told them, I was like, you know, we're pros. I want the Ryan Johnson's pro model soap shoes. I think you should have me in a pool with two hot soap groupies. Get, like, make cheerleading outfits with the soap O on it, like, within, in blue and white. You know, they're like, no, we don't, we, this is not the, this is not the image. And finally, one day I just, I just lost it. And I was like, fuck this shit. And I started writing this hate mail. Uh, basically I typed out, you know, fuck soap. I should have probably just kept rollerblading. These motherfuckers are, this is bullshit, bro. Like they're just using us. And uh, so I hit send, but I was using the company's Outlook Express. And when I hit send, it actually went reply to all. After I got fired from soap, I, I had recently got the Soap O logo tattooed on my shoulder. And um, after, after I got fired, I, I really didn't feel proud to, to represent that anymore. So I started looking around online, you know, home remedies to get rid of a tattoo. Some kid said that he had a tattoo on his hand and he just burned it off with a hot spoon. So I went home, I'm taking swigs of this fucking pop off nasty vodka and um, starting to get drunk, bro. And I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's do this. So I fire up the, the stove, I'm heating up the, the spoon. And 
Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Like, that shit hurt, dog. So, I had kind of put soap behind me, and also at the time, I had just recently got my girlfriend pregnant. So, I was like, well, my soapy career is kind of over, so I might as well do the family thing, and I ended up joining the Navy, and um, which led me to later going to school at MI and becoming a recording engineer in Las Vegas, and then moving into the uh, pickup artistry and moving to become the number one dating coach in Las Vegas. When I got back into soaping, now I feel like um, soap is gone, you know, I'm not representing them, now I'm representing myself as, as basically a solo artist in 2016, just doing my own thing. You know, the kids today, they think Sega and Sonic invented soap shoes. Half the kids today don't even know what soap shoes are. I walk to the skate park and they're like, what are those? You know, and like, these are soap shoes, how do I get some? Oh, well, they went out of business before you were born, so, you know, eBay. I've noticed that this is such a transient city. I think the statistic is four million people are coming and leaving each month. I think because of that, uh, the transient environment that I live in, it's over the years, I've got, I guess I've come to disassociate myself with a lot of people. A solitary and introspective sport you know for me like it's it's an art form and I think it's um, something that resonates with me and you know I do it because I love it but there's always gonna be comments and people hating on it and stuff but you know I just half the time I I think it's kind of amusing sometimes I, I kind of find it cute you know Cause it's like man like that person has such low self-esteem like they want to like bring me down to their level. Whatever you love, you know, do it. I think it's, it's, it, it's an outward expression of your internal self. Okay. 
We all choose our own reality. I see it as it's like we attract what we want. You know, we we are. I believe that our our outside existence is kind of a mere reflection of who we are, what we're vibrating on the inside. A lot of people talk, a lot of people dream, but they never take a physical action step towards what they want. And so many people are scared to take that step. Do something, you know, it doesn't even have to be the right action, but as long as you do something, I believe the universe will rearrange itself and show you what you have to do next. I think people have to be prepared to exchange something in return for their dream. For example, if you have a dream to have the perfect body, you may have to give up eating McDonald's for a year. You know, you may have to try new foods that maybe always grossed you out. You know, I never liked onions as a, as a kid. I never liked broccoli, but now I eat all kinds of vegetables, rainbow chard, radishes, stuff I throw in my, my blender that I never ate as a kid because I want sustained energy, I want clarity, I want clean focus, I want to feel healthy, I want to feel good. And so I've had to give up things like Twinkies and Coca-Cola in exchange for the dream of being physically fit. You may never like get everything that you want in your one physical life experience that you're, that you're here on this planet, but as long, in my personal opinion, as long as you're moving towards what you want, I believe that you're a successful person, you know. I have a lot of, a lot of stuff that I'd still like to, to be done, but um, for the type of goals that I have, it will take me, I don't know, 30 or 40 lifetimes here. Sometimes, you know, I get frustrated. Some people will be like, oh, you did great. But I'm like, well, it could be better. And I might get frustrated, fall a couple times. Sometimes I have a tendency to get pissed off. And then I have to just stop and kind of breathe and center myself. And I'm like, ask myself the question, why am I out here? Why am I 35 years old sliding in my fucking shoes? 
And I kind of remember, you know, that the reason is like, I want to enjoy that ride. I want to jump on this roller coaster and ride this motherfucker all the way to the end and come off smooth and just keep walking. I want to uh, live life. I want to experience it, you know, in the physical, not just in the invisible, in my mind, imagine. It. Now it's a personal thing. I don't feel that I'm better than anyone else. You know, I uh, I can't really do the the nine to five thing. That's never really resonated with me. Just because, you know, I'm more into being free. I want to make every day. Count. I want to have every day having a, a purpose and life short. You got 28,251 days. Can't fuck around. You got to make that shit happen. Looking back on it, all I really wanted to do in the beginning, you know, was to jump up in 360 off of a picnic table. All I really wanted to do was this, and I end up way the fuck over here. I believe that the key to achieving your dreams is to be truthful to who you are and if that's really what you want, then you need to go for it regardless of what anyone else thinks of you, what your mom thinks of you, what your best friend thinks of you, what society may think of you, what um, your priest or pastor or police, firemen, governments, you know, if you know who you are and you know what you want, and I say go for it, at the same time try to realize that you may never achieve everything that you want. You know, stay happy, stay positive, stay focused, and you know, you'll, you'll get where you want to get. You just, just stay on it. Life is a, life is an interesting day, man. But I'm here, man, doing it every day. Um, keeping my game tight, you know what I'm saying? Following all my dreams, following my goals, and uh, just trying to make shit happen.